This is a fairly loaded up brush. You can see how much paint is on there. And the, uh, the hairs are squirrel hair and they're microscopically um, a lot of ridges on it which hold the paint. So a small brush can hold a lot of paint. That's why they use squirrel hair. So you can see how I'm holding it with the three fingers. Now the stroke of the uh, script lettering starts out thin, gets thicker, and gets thin again. So I start off on the side, lay down into the letter, start lifting, and then you, you continue with the thin stroke. And if you see any imperfections in the edge, you can touch it up like that. Same thing, thin, start thickening it up. you're making a nice uh, a nice flick at the end and you got to be uh, kind of loose with it and that looks it looks better when you do that I could have went a little bit thinner on that stroke I just did there, but that's all right. It still looks good. You can see I'm lifting. Just the beauty of a, uh, a script letter. There's no real bad way. <laughs> well, there's always a bad way, but it's so flowing and uh, creative that you know it's gonna look good no matter no matter what you do. Really, lift, get on the edge of the brush. then you don't totally rush into it before you start putting the paint down kind of look at where you want to go and then vary the height also when you're doing a loose script like this if you did everything all the same size it wouldn't look right so varying the height always looks good lift so the R is there's so many different ways to make a script R I'll probably use a loop kind of match the way the L is
lift off at the bottom. I think the main thing is to uh, just keep your own personality in it. You know, there's some famous, uh, famous or <laughs> well-known uh, sign painters um, within the industry. You know, and they have their own specific style. So you want to have your own style. So you can you can look at those people as a as a guide, but I wouldn't recommend you know printing them out and tracing them because then you uh, you know you, you look like you look like them you know you look like their lettering style. You want to have your own, which naturally comes out from lettering on the fly. Now I'm looking at that E, and to me it's a little bit too small. I said to vary it, but sometimes you stand back and you can figure out a little tweak here and there. Sometimes you get it right the first time, and sometimes you don't. <laughs> so that looks better. Now for this I mixed up uh, imitation gold paint with white, which gives you a nice pale yellow. Now I have another video that shows you how to you know, mix the paint, all the stuff that you do that's off camera. I'll make one. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to mix up a little uh, white for the uh, sign painting. 